Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Halocha of Rambam Liyune. The Rambam says, in today's Rambam, Peirik Dalid Halokh Yudalef. So the Rambam, Ho'oi meharini nozir b'yem shibin dovid bobei. I, if a person says, I will be a nozir, the day Mashiach comes. So, im b'chol nozir, if he made his nether in the weekday, and he's also le'elom. Yed and talk, achak le'bechol m'shayove, so he's also forever. However, if im b'shabbos in b'yom tov nozir, if he was nozir on Shabbos in yom tov, he said this, Neder, that I'll be a, a Nazar Mashiach comes on Shabbos and Yom Tov. Eisi Shabbos, Eisi Yom Tov Muter. That Shabbos is Muter. Mikam ve'elech osir lo'elu. But the Rambam explains. Shadov or Sofik im Yovi b'Shabbos and Yom Tov lo Yovi. There's a Sofik, maybe Mashiach could come on Shabbos, maybe a can't. Ve'el vu Sofik b'yem shanoda. Since there's a sofik, like cholol of Naziris, there's no Naziris. She sofik, Naziris, lehokil. A sofik by Nazis, you always make him. And the Rambam, there's a machlika, so he's showing him why we say a sofik by Naziris is lehokil. Even though by Nadonim were machmir. So there is a shenim that say because of chulim ba'azoro, aran and Nadonim. However, for you, 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 we're, as we're learning in the Rambam these days, the word is, because Nezidus has to be clear. Kiyafli. So that was in Klor. That's what the Rambam said. There's a Sofik. Sofik Nezidus Loha. So Mimele, when you made the Nezidus on Shabbos and Yom Tif, Lecholol of Nezidus, a Sofik Nezidus. Mikam ve'elech in the weekdays, Kendach Mashiach Kumen, in a stitch in Sophic Naziris, Mushik and Ozikha Kumen. Hall of Naziris. Shabbos Aboshi Sophic, next Shabbos Osa Sophic. A no Mafkas Naziris Shakololo. This doesn't take away the Naziris that was Hal on the weekday. The Kirya Sefer explains it very nicely. He says Sophic Naziris is only in the beginning. Once the nether is chal, dot the zok pulish sofik naziris lahok. It can't be mafkia the naziris. There's an interesting uh, Kesef Mishnah. Kesef Mishnah asks, Migimor in the dot, sorry, Gimor in the Erev Nafim Gimel. The Gimor in the Erev Nafim Gimel says, Why is that dover sofik im yovi b'shabbos im yom tif? Because it says that Elio Anovi has to come before Mashiach. And Elio Anovi can't come on out of Shabbos and out of Yom Tev. So Shabbos, can Mashiach come? That's what the Gemara says in Erev. I, Mashiach alone, Mashiach alone could come on Shabbos, out of Shabbos, out of Yom Tov, because the Gans of Welt will help you to make Shabbos with it. I have nothing to worry about. But not El Yom. Frek the Kesef Mishneh, Favo Zok, this the Ramba, the Tam Adover, Stage Adover, Sofa Kim Yom Tov, Shabbos, of Yom Tov, Elo Yovoi. Why doesn't he say the time? Because ain't nearly your boy, Bavi Shabbos is Bavi Yom Tov. It says, He ne on a chishele, a chamisel yoan of Lifni Ber Yim, a god of our native before Mashiach. So why doesn't the Rambam say it? Why did he just say Shadow or Sof? That's a kasha from the Kesef Mish. The Rebbe Lekutisichis 
in a letter. Answers the Shiloh. It's a short letter, short little order. The end of the letter, you could see it. These couple of lines. The Rebbe says like this. That there is a Rambam. In Hilchus Melochim, Peirik Yud Beis Alochim Beis. And what does it mean? Hine Onechi Sheleach Lochem, Esel Yoa Novi Lifne Be Yem Agodol Vahaneiro. Yem Agodol Vahaneiro is not Mashiach. It's Milchem is Gegu Mogeg. And the Rambam. Brings the Gisugi the Gemara and Erivin that Yei Mabe Agodu Aneiros Mashiach and Mashiach must come. Elyon Novi must come before Mashiach. That's only Yesh Menachachovim Shem. But the Rambam himself learns that it's Gegu Moge, and Gegu Moge could be after Mashiach comes. The Mele, there's no Hechrich. That Elio Anovi comes before Moshiach. The Rebbe writes in the brackets, Vilule Divri Rambam. If not for the Rambam saying that it's a Machlekes, Geish Letamich Kola Deis. You could say Elio comes. Nirev and Ignas, and he hides, and he comes again. He comes by Gomogoy. He comes before Mashiach. He comes the Rebbe brings the Yerushalmi, that Mashiach comes, that Eliyahu Novi comes before Tchies Hamesh. That's after Mashiach comes a long time, according to the Rambam. If Mashiach, Ene Oiseh, Anyways, the Rebbe writes one line. Al peace, vodas, vedas, on Ambam, and now, based on the Rambam in Hilchus Melochim, that what did Malachi, the Novi Malachi, mean when he said, Lifne be ye ma shem a godl vahaneiro? He meant ye go mogeg, sorrow kushis nesik kalim be ilchus nesit. Kashis for the Kesef Mishnah. Why doesn't the Rambam write why the Sophic is? It's an under Sophic, it's a Sophic on Mashiach. And the Paskin is with the Gemara and Erevin. The Gemara and Erevin is according to the Shitta that Mashiach coming is Yem Bea God of And since the Rambam says that Mashiach will not make it, doesn't have to make Isis. It's not Mukhrich Eliyahu who come before me. As I read Land and Ebbe in a letter from Tov Shin Chov Ches, 1968. If you want to look up the letter, it's in Chelik. Hey, Omid 419. So the Rebbe learns that Ben David Bo is a Bazunda Sophic, not connected with Eliyahu. There's a fascinating sefer, a very famous one. Some sefer asks, you say, that El Yo comes if yes, in the Maila Measor, ain't Chum in the Maila Measor. So he wants to say, that he wants to say, he says that Yem she ben David Bo Moshiach doesn't have to come from outside of the Tchum. Moshiach is someone from us walking around, and our order Moshiach comes on him, and in every generation there's someone ready to be Moshiach. So why does the Gemara and Erevin say Yem Tchum and Lomayim Asoro? So he wants to learn Yem she ben David Bo doesn't mean when he actually comes. It means when Klal Yisrael comes to him 
and that can be on a Shabbos. Al-Koponim, it's, it's a fascinating idea. And the Rebbe explains that the Stira of Hilchus Melochim, and over here with the Ramses Sasofik, the Rambam here doesn't learn like the Sugya Nerevin. He learns it's another Sofik. It's not connected with Elio Anovi. That's why he doesn't mention it. This is what the Rebbe explains in the Sa'ora to the letter in Tov Shin Chof Ches. In Tov Shin Mem Zayin. Tov Shin Mem Zayin was the first seal of Marambam. It was actually the third seal of Marambam, but the first seal of Marambam for Perkech and Tignor. The Rebbe had a wonderful seal about Eliyahu Novi. The Rebbe said, how could there be a Machlekes Mitzis when Eliyahu Novi comes? The Rebbe sharpens the question based on the famous Agdoma Tepirish HaMishnai Yislaw Rambam, where the Rambam says that in Aloha Dome Sinai can't be Machlekes. And it's mashma for the mission in Erdis, where he learns about this. That's Allah Lameshu Misina. The Rebbe was Mechadish in the Sikha, in Tov Shemem Zayin, that everybody holds that Eliyahu Novi is going to become to fix Yuchsin by Klal Yisra. And, and, and uh, how he's going to fix it. Um, he's going to a mishpocha shenitmo nitmo, a mishpocha that was assimilated. Al Yol will not bother them. But someone that pushed himself into Kal Yisrael with bizruya, the koyach, with money, whatever, and he will push them out. He'll make a seder in Kal Yisrael. So the Rebbe is mechadish in that seal that Al Yol Novi will come and do everything. The shaila is. He'll also come a day before Mashiach to tell people Mashiach comes. The Shaila is, when will he clean shop? Will he clean shop of Yuxin by Gregor Mokut? Or he'll clean shop before Mashiach, but there's no machlekes in what he will do. Because even according to the Chomim that say that he's coming before Mashiach, he'll also come earlier to fix Klal Yisrael's Yuxin. So based on that Sikha, if you look in that Sikha, it seems like that Mashiach, El Yonov for sure comes. The Shaila is, when does he do his cleanup of Yuxin? Or when he comes right before Mashiach? According to where the Rebbe learns Tov Shemem Zayin, it'll pull Alma. El Yohan Novi will come before Mashiach. How will we answer? So we'll have to answer. That is not the gear to El Yohan Novi. That whenever Eliyahu Novi comes, we have to say pshat in the sicha of Tovshim and Zai and the Siyum of the Rebbe that according to those people that will come by Goy Gomogoy, he will not come before Mashiach. He will come just by Gregor Mogeg. 
And they learn Lifnei Be'yim HaGon Levanero means only Geikom Bogi. And even if according to the Chachomim, he will also come to be Metai Yuchsen before, but before Mashiach, he'll just come to say about Mashiach. Because they learn Yem Be'agod Levad Neira is Mashiach. But according to the Shita that Be'yem Agod Levad Neira is Gegel Mogi, he'll only come then. So that's why. And it helps very much with the Chassam Sefer tells us. There's a Sofik and Yem Shebin David Bo. And Yem Shebin David Bo doesn't only mean that he comes. He could come. It means that his Nesiyah spreads like wildfire through Klal Yisrael, and Klal Yisrael comes together in Eretz Yisrael. So the Ebus to help him, we should be zoicha. There is days, Yem Shebin David Bo, they should come and we should all be Makif Karbonis. And Rabbi Shochet, I remember I was learning about Rabbi Shochet, should be gesund in Los Angeles. He was making a contract with someone till Mashiach comes. So he said, if I just write when Mashiach comes, people can always say Mashiach is here already. So he wrote in the contract, it should be a day that there's a Beis Hamikdash and a Makif Karbonis. This you can't argue. This is uh, either there is a base hamikdash, there isn't a base hamikdash. The Rebbe to help him is al zeichus dami. The Chassam Sefer says, "Yem sheben David bo." That should be nisparsim and call Yisrael and call Yisrael should all gather to go to Atzena Hagdesha, and it's going to happen every day. That's why every day this person is a nozir. Fascinating halacha on how real it is. And any day could be Yem B'Shem and David Bobe. The whole Kali Yisrael will gather to go to Eretz Yisrael. Have a wonderful day.